nonprofit started by a young leader is working to inspire others to give back to their rural communities. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh sat down with the founder for the P. Saxmore Foundation. He shared his thoughts on making a difference within the town that raised him. Woodland High student Peter Smith III started his nonprofit as an ode to the tight knit Dorchester community who raised him and generations before. Dorchester is a small town, but we're a small town with a big heart. Smith says he noticed the challenges for the aging population in his community. You started to see the conditions they face and how challenging it was for them to have access to fresh food or transportation. The nonprofit gives out free fresh produce twice a week to help seniors live longer and healthier. The inspiration comes from experiencing life in a rural area firsthand, the struggle to find accessible resources at a moment's notice, and the desire to help the community thrive. We want everyone to be on the level of uh, um, not feeling like they're in poverty or have anything, but that someone cares about them. The nonprofit held its back to school bash this weekend. The only back to school event that we had, we had to go all the way to Charleston. A lot of the kids couldn't make it out there. The event saw a turnout of nearly 300 and several vendors, all local based, and most of them around the same age as Smith. Hey, this farmer's market was started by a teenager, and most of all the vendors are teenagers. He calls it a relief to see his friends, classmates, and community rallying around him to support his vision. It does not matter where you come from, how you look, or whatever. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish it. The long-term goal for the foundation is to help battle food insecurities, educate equality, and honor the town where he grew up. Showing that my community, that I care about them, that I'm not just going up, not looking back. The foundation hopes to build a community center in the area to provide resources for the entire town of Dorchester to enjoy. Reporting in Dorchester, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News. And the nonprofit says that they aim to host more community giveaways this upcoming fall and winter. For more information, click on this link to the story on Live5news.com.